How's it going neighbors? This is Ed here with eTrailer.com and we're taking a look at the Yakima Outpost Ladder Rack on our 2023 Chevrolet Silverado 1500. Adding a ladder rack to the back of your Silverado is going to allow you to increase the amount of cargo you can bring along with you without taking up the space on the inside of your bed. So it gets you a ability to take advantage of this negative space so you can add like a cargo basket like this Yakima Skinny Warrior or any other rooftop accessories, uh, but just on the bed of your truck. This configuration has the Yakima HD bars. They are 68 inches wide, uh, so this is gonna give you limited hangover that kind of stops right with the end of the truck. Uh, you have the towers here that are all powder coated uh, steel, and that's gonna hold up against the elements, uh, you know, just basically the abuse that you're gonna have on the road. You have this really nice welded tie down point, which is also the Yakima bottle opener that you find on a lot of Yakima products. And the base itself can be key to like using the Yakima same key system to keep everything nice and secure. So let's get a couple measurements to see how much space uh, you can load up before you get to the bottom of your crossbars. I'm coming up to 34 inches before you reach like the bottom point of the carrier itself. So that gives you plenty of space to get things kind of packed in underneath. And that's, that's pretty handy. One other thing you may want to be aware of is how it affects the back window. So you're gonna, once you're loaded up, you're gonna have this thing right here obstructing your rear view mirror. So you just want to be cautious of all those things that are behind you. Your crossbar spread is super adjustable. I have it on center right at 46 inches. However, uh, you can definitely make adjustments to make that a tighter space. If you have an accessory that needs that shorter distance, you're only limited to the clips and clamps that are underneath the bed rail cover. So the installation is pretty easy. All you're gonna need is a tape measure. So go hunt down your tape and I'll show you how to get it installed. The only tool you're gonna need uh, that's not included is gonna be a tape measure. We're gonna start our installation by getting our foundation of our, set of our crossbars put together. We're gonna start with our foot pad and we're gonna need our brackets and bolts. We're just gonna start the first couple threads, just enough to hook it on. And we're gonna do the same right here, and then we're gonna grab our tape measure to make sure our measurement is accurate to the other side. Now that we've got our measurements and we know our positioning, we're gonna use our larger Allen wrench to fasten down our clamps. We're gonna remove our end caps on our HD bar using our four millimeter Yakima tool. Uh, which is included in the kit. And this is gonna allow us to install the brackets or the spacers onto the towers. So you're just gonna remove that single bolt, grab your end cap, and I just take the spacers and I just slide it all the way over to the other side. And I leave one closer to this side over on the driver's side. And then we'll reinstall the end cap. From here, we're gonna take it to the put our towers on and then take it over to the back of the truck. Now we're gonna take our Yakima tower, making sure that the flat point is pointing towards the center. We're gonna just put it onto our base and hand tighten our connection. And from here, we're gonna put our bar across the crossbars. Now we're putting our bar on, we're just gonna make sure that we're even as far as our spread. And now we're gonna use those brackets that we slid into the under track and make a connection to the towers. We're gonna make our hardware sandwich. We're gonna have our lock washer, our washer. And then we're gonna grab our included six millimeter Yakima tool and insert our bolt here. One thing that I found to make the installation a little easier, sometimes those brackets slide. So you can take your tool and make sure that you're aligned and then you can insert your first bolt and should bite right onto that bracket. And now you're gonna add your second bolt and do the same over on the passenger side. Finally, you can secure your outpost to the back of your vehicle using the included lock and same key system compatible key. We're gonna take our four millimeter Yakima tool and we're gonna tighten down our towers And then we're gonna secure it using our Yakima same key system lock. So now you're nice and locked down. And just like that, 
you have the outpost installed on the back of your Silverado. The outpost is a great ladder rack if you're looking for something that's gonna give you the capacity to carry those heavier items, but you don't necessarily have that height on it so you can access uh, your cargo box, your kayaks, your bikes a lot easier. So again, this is Ed here with eTrailer.com taking a look at the Yakima Outpost Ladder Rack on our 2023 Chevrolet 1500 Silverado. Have a great day.